guys, and welcome back to an episode of Mommy Money Mondays. Um, today in this episode, I will be reviewing the new Toast Maker Single Serve Coffee Maker. So I originally got the Toast Maker Single Serve Coffee Maker because I seen it at Dollar General. Um, Dollar General is one of the stores I normally shop at at least like once or twice a week. And I do it because um, I save more money there. They have coupon codes, and it's very close in the area of my neighborhood. So that's why I got it from Dollar General. I've never seen it anywhere else, and I've never seen it for this price. So I'm going to put in a clip to show you guys how much it costs right here. And when I saw that price, I was so excited because I've been wanting a Keurig machine. But people have been talking so many, like, telling me so many bad things about the Cure itself and not the brand but just the little cups and how they're bad for the environment so I originally wanted to just grab a bag of coffee but I actually couldn't get a bag of coffee because they didn't have any at the store that I normally shop at to get them so I had to get the Cure cups I mean I had to get the K cups but hopefully this will be my last time getting them and make a long story short um, I got it because as you know, I normally buy coffee every single day. And I tried out the instant coffee thing, and it didn't work out because the coffee is nasty. It doesn't matter how I flavor it, how much sugar I put in it. I honestly do not like it. So I decided that I need to take that So I'm going to let Bay do the honors of opening this awesome, beautiful, single-serve coffee board. <laughs> so it originally came in this plastic and it had this big old sign on it that says fragile so I guess you have to be delicate you gotta be gentle <laughs> now I was gonna wait and try to get this for Christmas but um that's too long of like wasting money on coffee so I had to hurry up and get it which I will never use. <laughs> and these cardboard things. Gotta dump it upside down to get it out. Why is it so difficult? Goodness. Look at all the pieces. Oh, this must be the reusable filter right here. So yeah, it must be right there. So it comes, it looks like it comes separately on the outside. I don't know why it's on the outside. But yeah, here's the, the reusable filter. Yeah, that's so cool. You need to wash it. You ready, guys? <gasps> It is completely submerged in plastic. They want to make sure this thing does not get messed up before you before get it. And I actually like how small it is. It's not that, it looks big on camera, but it's really not that big. It'll fit perfectly right over there. Do you think it takes batteries? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, I got a cord, y'all. I'm trying to save money on electricity. So it looks like it has two buttons, the capsule button and the ground button. And, and the cord is retractable. Can you get it? Let's see how far it goes. That's it? Oh, that's that's wrong. So I wish this cord was longer. I'm going to show you how to lift. It's actually only about... Oh, it is longer. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's about like... A foot and a half. Honestly, that's not long enough for me. But whatever. Let me see. How this thing goes back in here? I think it retracts back. No. You got to just push it, jam it back in there probably. No, you're not supposed to jam it back in. You're not supposed to put it back? No, they only get that to pack it. 
Oh, I wish it was retractable. All right, so that's one thing I don't like. That's a that's a con about this machine. Let's I'm see. pretty sure most of them are not retractable. I don't know. If you guys have a single serve brewer and your quarter is retractable, let me know. I mean, that's like saying, you know, you get a you get a blender and you're like, oh, the cord's not retractable, or you get a microwave. I'm like, oh, the cord's not retractable. <laughs> Well, it was inside. We got it, so I just assumed that it's supposed to go oh, back. First of all, if it's retractable, that's gonna be one of the seven points, like you just said. You know? oh, okay. Like uh, it's probably in the manual. It'll probably tell me if it is retractable. Like uh, like uh, the iron. You know, it tells you on there. It's yeah. Retractable. Yeah. I've never read that, but you never yes. read that on the iron. Mm-mm. <laughs> you probably so don't here- got an iron that looks retractable. <laughs> Here's the drip tray. This actually looks like a toy to me. It does. This looks like a little toy. <laughs> it looks like a plastic grill for a kid's kitchen. So it's not metal, it's plastic. Um, so hopefully it doesn't absorb the coffee. Because you know coffee stains like everything. But I do like that it is black. So that's, that's awesome. Um, it says right here, push to open. Get away from Uh-oh, I don't know how to open it. Okay, stop. Sorry. Say push to open. Oh, push it in, probably. Duh. Oh, my God. I'm just learning, y'all. Right? Don't judge me. So, I guess that's where you put the cake up at. And I wonder, does this just go inside like that? No, I know mean, that's not going to fit. No, so I guess you remove this yeah. part if you don't have a cup. And then you put that inside. Cool. That is so cool. And here is the, the puncher. See the puncher from the, the cake cup. Let me close it back up. So like I said again, just press it in. It pops right open. Swap out the cups. This one is for grinds. And this one is for the disposable cake cups. And don't forget to put the water in. The water. Okay. So I'm going to read the instructions because... Oh, it tells you right here. Yeah. Cool. It's the most, it looks like the highest ounces for the Keurig machine. It's 14 ounces. That's awesome. We got 14, 10, 8, and 6. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can see it on camera, so hopefully you guys can see it. It's so cool. Oh, I'm going to make some coffee. I'm excited. You going to help me make some coffee? Why would I? This is so I don't have to help. You don't help me make some coffee, guys? This is so I don't have to. You don't have to help. Right. That's, that's what well, you this is the first time. Machines are I full. couldn't even get the lid open. I think I need help. No, that's because you did it on <laughs> camera. Trust me. <laughs> all the accidents happen on your first take. That's yeah. why most people be like, you know, practicing and, and rehearsing and, and, and <laughs> got the script so that way they don't mess up. You authentic. So they're going, you know, they you naturally you. you know? <laughs> Just how that's going to be. This is a good looking coffee maker. I mean, it's simple. It's so simple. You just put the cup. All right, so what cup am I going to use? So I want to use. Yeah, right? Use that one. I'm going to use my Wawa cup, y'all. Now because you put it in the tag. I got the Wawa K cups right here. So, like, they go hand in hand. All right. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So, what should I do first? Maybe I should plug it up first. <laughs> <laughs>
guys, very simple to clean. Just rinse it. Um, I would rinse this, but I didn't, didn't use it, but I rinse it anyway. You can just put it somewhere to dry. I'll put it right there for now. And I can't see if there are any more parts to clean. Um, it wasn't messy at all. It was really clean. It's only about like three drips of coffee in here. I just rinse those. Let those dry. And it looks really clean, honestly. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to clean. <laughs> really it um it smells really good so i'm hoping that it actually does taste like wawa's colombian coffee i also have some creamer too some french vanilla creamer this is my favorite one from wawa too and so now i'm going to pour my creamer i don't have any stirs so i'm just going to spoon so normally when I'm at Wawa, I put my creamer in first. And then I put my sugar in. And I made a mess just like I do at Wawa. <laughs> Put them at home so it's okay. <laughs> that is actually really good. So the toast maker took about two i wrote it down it took about three minutes to make coffee at the same time that is extremely simple because i can come over here start the coffee go get dressed come back and the coffee will be done and it will still be hot because this coffee is still really hot even with creamer in it so that's that's really good um another thing the price was amazing it only cost me $28. It actually had taxes on it. Um, I'll show you guys the receipt. As you can see, it was $30.24 from Dollar General. And I bought some creamer. And the creamer was... It was $1.99 for the creamer. I know you guys can see that. Creamer was $1.99. So that's about, 30, that's like $32. And I have another receipt too. I can't find my receipt for the actual um, K-Cups, but the K-Cups were $10. So that was plus two. So that's about $40 altogether. At the same time, I'm normally, I'm not going to buy these anymore. This is my last pack of these. The bag of coffee itself is probably like around $5, which is half of that price. The creamer lasts me about, I say a week. So that's like $2 a week. And that bag of coffee is probably going to last me forever. So I'll probably do like an update in about like a week. So I can show you guys if I used all of these, number one. <laughs> Um, how much the new bag of coffee is going to cost, the bag, the actual bag of Colombian coffee. And if I had to buy another um, container of creamer or not. And I'll give you guys more of, I'll give you a more updated review of price-wise. Because right now, coffee is on sale at Wawa. It'll be on sale to the 22nd. And it's a dollar and eight cents. But if I continually continuously do this, I want to see which way I can save more money. So I'll give you guys the updated review. But so far, <clears throat> I give this machine a five star because I could not make coffee that fast any other way. Especially when it's instant coffee. This nasty stuff.
when you have to pour so much creamer into it to try to make it taste good and still doesn't taste good then i have to put tons of sugar in it so like this this just can't be beat the colombian coffee with the single serve serve brew with a single serve brewer it's just it's amazing so i'm happy about that and i just wanted to show you guys how i am trying to save more money and if you guys want to know where you can find this at, like I said, I got this from Dollar General, and it was only $28. So if you guys go and buy one, let me know. Um, leave me some comments in the comment section on if you actually have your own single serve brewer. What's the brand? How you like it? Maybe I should get that one. Or just let's have a discussion. Talk to me at the bottom, okay? Thank you guys for coming back for another Mommy Money Mondays. Um, I am always happy to share new money-saving tips with you guys. And I'm glad you guys joined me today. Um, I'll be back again next Monday around noon. That's normally when I post my videos. And I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with somebody you know that might want a single-serve brewer. Because it does save money at the end of the day. And if you don't know what to do, just be naturally you. Bye.